Hi everyone, welcome to Color Related. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. So before we get started, I want you to see this beautiful picture. The look comes from a website of a cosmetic company called Diba by Deboisette. I'll put a link in the description box so that you can freely visit and see all of their beautiful looks and their really lovely product selection. What I love about the Duo Chrome is how it plays just with the movement of your head and your eyes and the sunlight or whatever light you're in, you get this beautiful play of color. So going back to that look and now speaking on Chrome eyeshadows. Uh, Diva by Deboisette has this absolutely amazing line of chromatic creamed eyeshadows. I purchased two from their site. These are the Chrome Aesthetic Eyeshadows, and I'm going to swatch them so you can see just how gorgeous they are. So I purchased number 702 Ola Copa, and I'm going to hope I can swatch that right here and you can see look at that so you're getting the gold you're getting the pink you're getting the orange isn't that gorgeous and the one we're going to do a look with today is number 706 I believe and I cannot pronounce it to save my life so I'm going to put both of the names down here so that you can see them in case you're interested in purchasing them. But just know that this is number 706 and this is more of a bluish tone. Look at that. So you're getting the blue, you're getting the pink, you're getting the violet. Imagine that on the eye. So going back to that beautiful picture, and I want to apologize in advance to the company. I really tried to find the name of the young lady. I didn't know it, who was modeling the look. I didn't know if she had any, you know, uh, a YouTube channel or something that I can send viewers to. So I deeply apologize for that. Please put a comment in my box. Maybe I overlooked something. I'll be more than happy to correct that because she deserves all the credit in the world. That look is beautiful. But we're going to do something just a little bit different. Now, my look today is inspired by that look. I hope we're able to see that. We're going to take the graphic liner and go around the curvature of the eye, and I'm going to extend that a bit. I'm going for a bolder look, and I'm sure I'm using the same cream shadow that the model will be using. So I'm going to be taking it out and doing something a little bit more angled. And then I probably didn't do it as much in the photograph as, or in this picture, but to really smoke out that bottom there because I'm going for something bolder. I think the look that she had was very wearable, very beautiful, but I'm going to take it, I'd like to take it just a little bit more and see if it will still be very wearable at the same time. Now she worked with a natural nude lip, which is extremely appropriate with a look like this when you're working with shadows like this that make a bold statement. Well, because I have no sense, I'm going to take it uh, to another level and do a bold lip with it. And I'm looking at a cobalt blue. I've used the e.l.f. Camo Concealer as a base, and I've already attempted one eye. So I find what's best for me because I feel very skittish with graphic liner also. Is I'm going to first work with a pen liner, and this one's from MAC. As a matter of fact, I forgot I had it. And it works beautifully working that line and we're going to keep plenty of micellar water and q-tips available in case we mess up
and I purposefully extended my eyebrows just a little bit because I don't mind this going as far as possible. Okay, the thing right now is to just look for balance, make sure one isn't going out further than the other. And for most people, I know it's true for me, one eye is bigger than the other. So I have to take that into account also. I get one eye and we'll go on to the other. So I'm taking a small brush and really just taking it right off the applicator. And I just want to kind of paint it on, especially in those little tight places first. And then I can use the applicator to make bolder sweeps. is such a smooth creamy product really very nice to work with I love the texture only thing is because it has that color shift there are times you look at yourself and it looks like you have patches that you're not seeing the color but it's on there I'm gonna take that MAC pen again and I'm gonna go over that line just to make it bolder, sharper, crisper. Some of my shadow got on that line. I'm going to take Max Smolder and apply to the bottom uh, waterline and just a little underneath there to get a smokier look. And going back with that MAC pen liner, I'm going to line the upper lid. So I'm going to take my NYX Metal Palette and I'm looking for kind of a silvery leaning towards bluish or neutral kind of tone to pop right in the center. And so off camera we'll do mascara and we will add what are becoming my favorite lashes from Eyelure London. These are the Curly Queen from the Jasmine Brown collection. Now let's finish the rest of the face.
later, I think I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution foil palette, and there is an absolutely lovely pinky kind of earthy tone right here that we can use for highlighting. Now on to lips. I'm going to do something a tad unusual, but this is my pencil, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, the MAC Smolder Pencil, and I'm going to use that for just a slight lip line before applying this Cobalt Blue. And then for my makeup site, Colorelation Cosmetics, I'm going to be using our Liquid to Matte color in number 22. Now I love how plush and velvety the look, lip looks, but I think I'm gonna go a step further, add a little bit of glitter and shine to it. So this is our Sheer Lip Gloss in Gunmetal. So guys, definitely a look that is bolder than I'm used to wearing during the day. See, having a lot of fun with this. The graphic liner was a bit easier than I thought it would be. And the deeper shadows were really fun to work with. I would just love to go outside and see how these play in the sunlight. But I can just imagine the beautiful color play that someone who's looking at my eyes would see. So definitely check those out, guys. Again, I'll have a link in the description box and enjoy. Also, um, visit their, once you get to the site, link into their Instagram page where you'll really see a lot of their beautiful work. And there will also be a link to my site, Color Relation Cosmetics. Feel free to browse. We hope you'll purchase and enjoy your visit there. If you have any questions, please contact me at uh, colorrelation at hotmail.com. Guys, thanks so much for joining me and have a blessed and wonderful week. <laughs>